In this video, we are going to look how to create collisions in Unreal Engine. We are going to look how to create simple collision, complex collision and volume blocking collisions in Unreal Engine. So without any delay, let's jump into the video. As you guys can see, I have already opened an Unreal Engine scene of an interior. Now we are going to learn how you can do collisions in Unreal Engine for your Arquist scene. So let's say if you want to create certain viewprints for it and you want to create walkthroughs, uh, interactive walkthrough, let's say the character is walking and uh, it's, chain it's changing the sofa material, sofa options and all that stuff. Then you need to have certain collisions in your scene. So right now if I click on play here, you can see we are not colliding with any objects here. You can see here we are going inside the objects here as well, here as well. Okay, and if I press Q key and go downwards, you can see I'm going downwards as well here. Okay, so this is not a good thing when you are creating interactive walkthroughs. So you need to have certain collisions here for your scene. Okay, now let's do that first. So let's just press the escape key here. Okay, I generally start with the floor object floor here. Okay, let me just decrease my resolution as well. So let's just set it to auto right now. And we are going to also decrease the screen percentage. Okay, it's already decreased. Okay. Now what we are going to do now to understand how collision works, there are different type of collision. There is box collision, there is capsule collision, there is peer collision, there is complex collision for simple mesh. Then there is simple collision for complex mesh and there is also a bounding box to block the collision here. So how you will know that what to use, where to use and when to use. Okay, so generally I start with the floor first. Okay, for that you need to analyze your mesh that how your mesh is looking. And according to that, you will apply your collision. So let's just go to our outliner here. I am going to just go to my details panel as well. And I'm going to double click on my static object here. And as you can see, it's basically a big box here. Okay. So what I can do, I can generally give a basic box collision. Now, just remember guys, if you are using simple box collision, sphere collision, cylindrical collision, it is not going to take that much load on your GPU. But if you are using complex collisions, okay, then it is going to take certain load on your GPU. It doesn't matter when you are doing this for Arquist, but if you are doing this for games, you need really need to be careful on what you are doing here. Okay, so to apply a collision to this box, you need to go to collision here and you will find certain collisions here. Okay, there I generally use this three types or I just convert them to complex collisions if the object is really complex and I want that certain shape only to be colli collided. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's just add a box because basically it's square. It's a square object and it's a box. So let's just apply uh, add box simplified collision here. And you can see we have got this green box here. Okay, if you are not seeing this green box, you need to visualize it. To visualize the collisions, go to show and just make sure that your simple collisions are turned on. If it is turned on, off, you are not going to see this. So for that, you need to turn on this simple collision here. And now you can see, we are basically having this green box and this green area defines that this is your collision area and your box will now collide basically around this area. Okay, for this to apply, you need to save this out and you need to close this. Okay, as soon as I do that, you can now see it's applied. So to test it out, let's just play this level. Okay. So let's just play this. Now, if I press Q key, I cannot go downwards. I can go till my collision is there. After that, I cannot go. So this is a good thing. Same way we can do this for sailing because right now we are going upwards here. Okay. So let's just press the escape key. Again, we are going to select the ceiling. Okay. You need to go to your outliner, your detail panel as well and just double click on that and if I zoom out here you can see this is our ceiling here okay now there are two options here again so if you are using this for Arquist purpose it's totally fine if you are using simple collisions for complex mesh or complex collision for simple mesh it's not an issue okay if you want you can also use the box collision but when you will use this box collision there will be certain things that you need to make sure okay so if I'm doing this and let's say your character is going to walk here, let's say this is your basically your floor. Okay. And your character is going to walk here, then it is not going to be possible because this is now a collision area. So in certain cases, what you need, you need to have the complex collision as well. So 
to to do that you need to remove this first and then apply your complex collision how you can remove this just click on collision again and just delete selected collision or remove collision okay it will remove your collision now here in your detail step you need to scroll downwards here okay and here you can find there is a box collision as well you can add it in your navigation as well and here you will find a collision tab okay and when i click on this collision presets it's already written block all so it will block all the objects here and your col collision complexity is there and if you click on this you will find use simple collision as complex and use complex collision as simple okay so generally what happens now if you are using this complex collision as simple it will count per polygon as your collision so if you want that you can use this or you can use use simple collision so it only creates simple shapes but in our case we want a complex collision as simple and you can see now there are lots of wireframes here so basically it's trying to collide only on that object shape so you can see now we are not getting this a uh, green box which was going till here it's now exactly going to collide with that specific shape only so let's say you are having lots of trees and you want collision on them but not certain you want to uh, let's say a human to feel that tree or you want human to touch that tree then you need to have this complex collision or else what will happen it will if you are going to give the box collision it is going to create a huge box and it is not going to work or you need to reuse the capsule uh, collision so it totally depends on your requirement so again i am telling if you are going for arc quiz go for this not an issue but if you are going for a really big scene like a game level or if you are creating uh, let's say 10 bhk apartment or something like that in interactive like a two uh, 20 stories building and your camera is going inside and all that stuff then i would not recommend this use the box collisions and you can basically divide box collisions here i'm going to show you in a bit how you can do that as well but let's just save this first okay and now if i just close this uh, after doing this you need to basically test this out so let's just play our game here okay and let's just test okay this is working and let's just test our ceiling as well and you can see this is also basically working okay you can see you cannot move upwards then this so this is how basically your complex collision works now let's say you want to give this sofa also a collision okay then there is one more method as well which you can use okay what i am going to tell let me explain you so let's say you are doing the same method that you have done till now okay so let's just go to outliner let's just go to our detail panel and let's just double click it here okay we are going to create a box simplified collision here and you can see we have created this box okay let's just save this let's close this let's just click on this again here let's just do the same thing for this as well okay let's just double click it here let's just do the collision and let's just add a box collision let's just save this let's close this let's just do the same thing for this as well okay so let's just double click it here and let's just do the same thing for add box simplified collision let's just save this and let's close and now if i click on play here if i go here you can see this is blocking but what happens no basically if i go out i go upwards okay and if i have my character it is going to walk on this okay you can see it is getting it is walking on this i don't want this i want that my character should not walk on this surface basically so let's just add a third person shooter so we can see it clearly okay we will do on later stage in the next uh, module okay so right now let's just focus on this so now you can see our character is walking on this because our collision is not that big our box collision is still here only okay so now what we need to do we need to have big collision somewhere over here so our character doesn't walk on the sofa here okay so first you need to remove the collisions because we don't want to load our system with this so i'm just going to press control z here okay so this will undo all the stuff of the collision okay now you can see if i click on play here and it's not colliding okay so that's a good thing so now what i am going to do i'm going to create a collision box here just click on this quickly add to project then you need to go to volumes and here you will find a blocking volume okay 
so just drag and drop it here okay just press the w key i think it went downward so let's just click here and just add it from all classes and let's just add a blocking volume okay then you need to press the r key because it's really small here okay i think it's going outside here yeah so it's somewhere around here so let's just press the w key and take it upwards here okay let's just press the g key because i haven't pressed that g key and now you can say this is basically like a post process but a box volume okay so it's like a simplified box only but you can edit the shape of this okay so let's just move it around here so you can take a whole box as well not an issue with that okay so let's just do something like this let's just take it backwards here okay now let's just press the r key and resize it i'm going to turn off the snapping here okay now let's just do something like this so now you can see we can edit this blocking volume and create the shapes that we want here now you can see it's way big on your x axis so now you can just turn this down here something like this okay so this is looking nice and you can do like one one each for one uh, basically sofa okay so let's just say something like this then you can just hold alter and copy the another volume here okay it can just combine with each other not an issue with that and then you can have one more here okay but we are going to resize it by pressing the r key okay and i'm going to just resize it here okay so this is done now you can see it's looking something like this here and you can see our bounding boxes are really big so our character cannot walk on this when we are going to add a third person character here we are going to look at how you can do that in the next video but right now let's just skip it till here now you can do the same thing for the plant as well okay so what you can do you can create one more blocking volume but before doing that let's just test this out okay so now if i click on play you can say it's basically blocking if i go till here also you can see we cannot go here upwards because we are now blocking the volume here okay it's still here okay now let's just do the same thing here don't worry about the camera and the distortion and all that stuff because we are not using the first person uh, shooter here so we are not using that camera again let's just do the same thing so you can just repeat the same thing or you can also have a cylindrical collision for this and or again a different one for this but what i prefer i just take this box here by holding alter okay let's just press the r key and let's just do something like this here okay then take this inside so if my character wants to just go here it can go okay so this is done okay i am not going till here because my character is but obvious not going to touch till here so i am going to keep it this way only okay the same thing you can do for this as well or you can use the complex collision as well okay it's totally up to you which collisions you want to use now let's say if you are doing this stuff here no then you need do you don't need to do this for tv here because we are already blocking this so you don't need to give for tv again so just make sure that whenever you are giving collisions so let's say if i am giving a collision here and here i don't need to give for the book as well because i am not going to touch that book here okay so let's say if you are going to give the collision on this you don't need to give for this so you need to be smart when you are going to give collisions because let's say if i am going to give a collision for this table here then i am not going to give the collision to this bottle and this magazine because at the end of the day i am not going to just going to grab it if you are going to grab it then only you need to give the collision here which is called chaos collision so you can grab and throw it we are going to look at that in future videos so i hope you guys now know how you can give collisions to your object simple collision complex collision box cylindrical or your blocking volume so this is how easy it is to basically collide all your objects and then you can add your first person shooter and make it your interactive blueprints ready so we are going to look at that in another video till then if you like my video please press that like button share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine and subscribe to my channel for more such amazing videos bye bye guys